Hello friends. In this video, I will show you how to extract hex file from Arduino. This method requires two Arduinos. One Arduino will act as the programmer. It will be used to extract the hex file from the other Arduino, which in this case is an Arduino Nano. The first step is to upload the Arduino ISP sketch to the Arduino Uno. It will turn the Arduino Uno into an ISP programmer. Before uploading the sketch, make sure you have selected the Arduino Uno board from the tools menu. Also, choose the COM port to which your Arduino is connected. Now click on Upload button to upload the code to the Arduino. Now we have set up the Arduino Uno as an ISP programmer. Next, let's focus on the Arduino Nano, which will be used as target device. I have already uploaded a simple blink sketch on it, which will blink the LED at a 100 milliseconds interval. And I am going to extract the hex code for this blink sketch. You can also use an Arduino Uno or any other Arduino as the target device. The steps remain the same for any device. Next step is to connect the programmer to the target device. You can follow this wiring diagram to properly connect the target Arduino to the programmer. If you are using an Arduino Uno as the target device, then you can follow this wiring diagram. To extract the hex file, I will use AVR Dudes software. You can find the link for this software in the description. Here, first you will need to select the Arduino as a programmer. Then, Select the COM port to which the Arduino is connected. Next, set the baud rate to 19200 to establish communication with the Arduino. Next, you will need to detect the microcontroller of the target device. So, click on detect button and it will automatically detect the microcontroller on the target device. In our case, it will be the AT Mega 328P which is commonly used in Arduino Nano boards. Now, we are ready to extract the hex file from Arduino Nano. The Arduino program or hex file is stored in the flash memory of the Arduino. Therefore, to extract the desired hex file, you will need to read the flash memory of the Arduino. First, you will need to click on the three dots and then select the location where you want to save the extracted hex file. Give the extracted hex file a name, such as blink.hex, and ensure you save it with the proper file extension. Then select the hex file format as Intel hex, as it is compatible with Arduino. Additionally, make sure to select the read option, as we are reading the data from the flash memory of the Arduino Nano. Now click on Go button to start the extraction process. You can monitor the console in the AVR Dudes software for the status and progress of the extraction process. Once the extraction is complete, the resulting hex code will be stored in the blink.hex file. To access this file, navigate to the location where you saved it. Here you can see the hex file is created. I will just open it to look inside. Here are just zeros and ones. This binary code represents the blink sketch that blinked the LED at the intervals of 100 milliseconds. Now you can upload it to another Arduino. However, it's important to note that the single blink.hex file might not work for large and complex programs that use EEPROM memory. In such case, you will also need to extract the data from the Arduino's EEPROM memory. First, Click on the three dots next to EEPROM section. Then, enter the file name to store the EEPROM data, such as blink.eep. Remember, EEP is the standard extension for EEPROM files. Next, select the format as Intel hex. Make sure, you have selected the read option, as we want to read data from the EEPROM memory. Then click on Go button, to start the EEPROM reading process. Wait for the process to complete, and the EEPROM data will be stored in our file. The final step is to read the fuse bits and lock bits from the target Arduino. So, 
Click on the Read button. It will read the data about the required bits from the target Arduino. Here you can see the data about the required bits. You just save this information inside a text file. It will be used when we upload the code to another Arduino. Now, we have these three files for the Arduino Nano. The next step is to upload these files to the target device. I will use the Arduino Uno as a programmer. For testing purpose, I will use the same Arduino Nano that I have used in the previous step. However, you can use any other Arduino as the target device. The connection diagram and the other steps remain the same. Currently, the built-in LED of the Arduino Nano is off. It indicates there is no any blink code inside its flash memory. So, let's upload the blink code using the hex file. Here, first you will need to make some configurations. These configurations will remain the same as we performed in the previous step. The only difference is that this time I will select the right option since we are writing the hex file onto the Arduino. Now, click on the three dots to open the file explorer and select the hex file that we have created in the previous step. As we are dealing with a simple blink sketch, so there is no need to upload the EEPROM file. Only the hex file is required. Wait for the upload process to complete. Now the hex file is uploaded. If you look at the Arduino Nano, you can see the LED start blinking after every 100 milliseconds. To verify the LED functionality, you can directly power the Arduino Nano using a USB cable. To upload large and complex programs, you need to update the EEPROM data as well. This process is straightforward. You just select the right option from the EEPROM section. Then, select the format as Intel Hex, and then click on the three dots to open the file explorer. Here select the EEPROM file that we have created before. Now click on Go button to upload the EEPROM file on the target device. Finally, you will need to update the fuse bits information. You just open the previously saved fuse bits text file and enter the bit information into the appropriate fields. After entering the bit information, click on right button to update the fuse bits. And finally, click on the right button for the lock bits to complete the process. This way, you can easily copy code from one Arduino and upload it to as many Arduino boards as needed. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. See you in another video. Bye.